Okay, how do we evaluate uh, the limit of a function involving radical expression in which after direct substitution, the result is indeterminate? So if that is the case, we're going to use the conjugates. What do we, uh, what do, we do with the conjugates? We're going to multiply it to the numerator and the denominator of the given rational uh, functions or the expression or function involving radical sign that process is called rationalization when we want to remove the radical sign in the numerator that's what we call rationalizing the numerator if it if the radical sign is in the denominator and we want to remove it that's what we call rationalizing the denominator let's have this one the limit of square root of x minus 3 over x minus 9 as x approaches 3 Look at this one. If you replace x by 9, the result is square root of 9, which is 3, minus 3, so 0. And in the denominator, that's 9 minus 9, also 0. So, indeterminate. So, we can evaluate by multiplying the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the numerator. Square root of x minus 3 over x minus 9. So, what is the conjugate of the numerator? That is simply square root of x plus 3. Then, same with the denominator. Copy. Okay. So, uh, we simplify. Square root of x times square root of x. That is x. Negative 3 times positive 3. Negative 9. Then, x minus 9 times square root of x plus 3. So as you can see, we can now cancel x minus 9. Cancel. Then we now have the limit of 1 over square root of x plus 3 as x approaches 9. From here, we can now do substitution. That is the limit, ah, rather 1, 1 over uh, square root of 9 plus 3. And that is equal to 1 over square root of 9, 9 is 3 plus 3. And the final answer is 1 over 6. Se second example is the limit of x over square root of x plus 4 minus 2 as x approaches 0. So, when you replace x by 0, the result is determinate. So, we are going to rationalize the denominator. So, the limit of x over square root of x plus 4 minus 2 as x approaches 0. Multiply it by the conjugate of the denominator. That's square root of x plus 4 plus 2 over square root of x plus 4 plus 2. Then, simply multiply. So, copy x times square root of x plus 4 plus 2. And then, square root of x plus 4 times square root of x plus 4, that's x plus 4, just cancel the square root. The negative 2 times positive 2 is negative 4. Then, we have the limit x times square root of x plus 4 plus 2 time over 4 minus 4 0 that's x as x approaches 0 so as you can see we can now cancel x and we now have the limit of square root of x plus 4 plus 2 as x approaches 0 then we can now have the direct substitution here. And that is square root of 0 plus 4 plus 2. And finally, the answer is square root of 4 plus 2. So, 2 plus 2, which is equal to 4. So, the limit of the given function equals 4. Last one, the limit of square root of x plus 3 minus 2 over x minus 1 as x approaches 1.
Okay? We simply multiply it by the conjugate of the numerator. That's the limit. X plus 3 minus 2. X minus 1. As X approaches 1. So times X plus 3 plus 2. Okay, then we have the limit as x approaches 1. Square root of x plus 3 times square root of x plus 3, that's x plus 3. Then negative 2 times positive 2, negative 4. Divided by x minus 1 times square root of x plus 3 plus 2. So simplify the numerator. x plus 3 minus 4, so 3 minus 4 is negative 1 over x minus 1 times square root of x plus 3 plus 2. And so we can now cancel x minus 1. Then we now have the limit of 1 over square root of x plus 3 plus 2 as x approaches 1. And that is by substitution, we have 1 over square root of 1 plus 3 plus 2. So, that's 1 over square root of 4 plus 2. Then, that's 1 over 2 plus 2, which is finally, the answer is 1 over 4. Okay?